Alrighty, welcome back everybody to a, another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, today, it's a special uh, episode because it's my birthday! Hey! So, I decided that I'd actually kind of really like uh, playing this game on my birthday because I just absolutely adore this game. I love hey it. Um, wait, didn't I already talk to her? Sorry for the way oh, I no. Act. Never mind. It's just that when it comes to Lena, I tend to get a little worked up. That's fair. Why, why do you hate her? My brother and me had a good thing going. Sure, Griff had his run-ins with the law on Terrace, but we got by okay until Lena came and ruined everything. Yeah, she Lena. She was a dancer at the cantina Ooh, where my brother was a dancer. Like Griff could be a real smooth talker. And it wasn't long before the two of them were dating. But mm -hmm. Lena was used to dating rich Theresian nobles. Guys with mountains of credits. Fair enough. Griff could never give her the lifestyle she was used to, no matter how hard he worked. How much he stole? <laughs> Yo. Uh, yeah, did she I bump him? I thought Lena would brush Griff off when she saw how poor he was, but for some reason, she stuck around. I guess she saw the potential for a big payday What kind payday of big payday would he have? <laughs> uh, yeah, so what happened? After they'd been together for a few months, Griff told me he was leaving Terrace. He and Lena were going to try and make their fortune off world. He promised well, to make a fortune off world. I and guess that could happen. Like Terrace wasn't really all that nice to, uh, non aliens, I don't even right? Know where he went. Or non humans, I mean. Well, how's this Lena's oh, fault? Oh, I know what happened. As soon as she got him off Terrace, Lena sunk her claws into Griff butt good. She twisted him around her little finger and made him forget all about me. Uh, I know I'll probably it's possible. never see Griff again. But part of the reason I came poor with you Griff. was to hope that I could find out what happened to my brother. I mean, he looks like he's being manipulated by this poor Lena. But he's also kind of a scumbag, so like... Is there anything else I can... So, I don't know. Okay. Do I feel bad for Griff or do I not feel bad for Griff? I don't know, I feel like it's kind of hard. Don't you think? Uh, I think I report to the council real quick. And then I can... And then I can, uh, what you call it, I can go do the temple. Because I believe I can turn this quest in first. I think that'll be fine. Right? Okay. Uh, John. Um, oh. Oh. Do I not have to report? Rahasia's their love for each other was being okay. denied by overly possessive parents. And we learned that it was only by your intervention that they managed to escape here. Okay. While it is regrettable that the fences between the families were not repaired, it is good that these two young lovers can live their lives free of oppression. Thank you, Master Vandar. <laughs> it looks like I actually did need to uh, report in. But, oh well. I bet you can find them in the, in the barracks, not barracks, those rooms over there, where my mouse is. I bet you can find them over there. Alright, let's talk to John. He'll be happy to know that I took care of the Mandalorians for him. John, where are you? Whoa, what happened to those two people that always were right here? The husband and wife. Huh. Now those Mandalorians know what it's like to be hunted, but now that you've killed some of them... I fought and killed their leader. You, young master. Yep. My daughter can now, I think, rest in peace. Here is the re... Thanks, John. Again, I thank... Oh, a thousand credits! I could have denied it and gotten light side points, but... Sometimes it's okay to be uh, rewarded for your actions, especially when it's a thousand credits. Holy cow. I thought I'd get some, but not that many. Alright. Um, yeah, these guys still don't like me. Hi. You cannot win. Oh, yeah. Hey. I can't tell if that was me or Mission that did that. I don't know, how good is the chance to have the 
It's 25% chance, right? If I hit three times, um, what is it? So is that one nine, one fourth of one nine? Is that what the the what it comes out to? So that um, thirty one one thirty sixth chance of hitting it. Is that how it work? How it works out? I'm not sure. Okay, this is this is a fun part. I like this part. Ooh, eerie music. Hello. Okay. Wait, you said Sleemo. That's Huddies, bro. <laughs> Okay, I don't know that one. Um I think the dream yeah. was trying to communicate with us by cycling through a variety of languages. Each time it spoke, it was using a very different alien dialect. The droid yeah. can probably understand us. The only problem is it may not have been programmed with the phenomes of a language we can understand. Okay. <laughs> I can produce any language. Hey, I understood I that. This language as well. It's an archaic variant of the Selkath dialect spoken on Manan. Why would a droid on Dantuin be programmed to speak ancient Selkath? Well, this is thought to have been a um, uh, a grave, right? An old one. So I think it would kind of make sense. Not a slave species, nor are you a builder. To Revan. The Dark Lord and Malak likely encountered right. destroyed when they destroyed the That's kind of weird. Are you some type of guardian? Oh. Oh. Okay. How long have you been here? That sounds like a long time. Ten full revolutions? That's crazy. Revolutions would take more than twenty thousand years. If this is true, then this droid is nearly five thousand years older than the Republic itself. There must be some mistake. That does. That's. That does seem like an outrageous amount of time. Conquerors. Rulers of the Infinite Empire and creators of the Star Forge? Hey, if they were so great, where are they? Must have been an extinct people. Though it is strange, there's no record. Yeah, wait, why wouldn't there be any even the why, why, would, why wouldn't there be records? If there was such a big empire dominant force in the galaxy. They never constructed an empire. Yeah, wait, if there was such a big empire, how would there be no records? Would fit with this information. Maybe the builders refer to the Sith? I doubt that. Maybe something happened? Yeah. Have you seen a builder recently? <laughs> All right. Okay, what's the Star Forge? The apex of the Empire. Machine of Invincible Might. Could be more specific. It's the glory. The droid is obviously not programmed with the knowledge we seek. The Star Forge sounds like some type of weapon, perhaps. In fact, oh, it, it doesn't make sense to call a weapon a forge. Maybe. Factory or weapons planet. Explain how the Sith were able to amass yeah. the fleet so quickly, but I suspect the Star Forge is more powerful than a mere factory. Maybe yeah, the droid has more information we can use. It seems to respond to you. Tell me about Revan and Malik once you came before you. They prove themselves worthy. 
Oh no, Nemo! Not Nemo! Poor Nemo. Oh man, why would the council send him to investigate? Not Nemo! Uh, how do I prove myself worthy? Okay, proving grounds? Will the builders unlock the secret? Fail will be destroyed by the power of the temple itself. Revan and Malik unlocked the sealed door and uncovered the secrets of the Starforge. Okay, Forge. yeah. Now Malik is using the Starforge to fuel his conquest of the Republic. We have to find out what they uncovered. We have to find a way to unseal these doors to learn more about the Starforge. Yeah, we should. Um, Nemo. Buddy. Oh, Nemo. <laughs> Uh, not Nemo. Oh, he's a guardian droid? There we go. Aha! Okay, Bastila, you need to start using your disabled droid. I'm sorry. But this rate... Oh my gosh, these, this guy's tough. Oh my god, I forgot how tough this guy is. Whoa. This shit's not even fighting. There we go. Stop using the flamethrower on me, bro. Okay. Wait, why is Mission doing so much more damage? What? Come on. I'm still in armor, so I don't get the benefits of Bastila throwing out those force powers. Oh my goodness. Only 400 XP? Alright, gimme, give gimme, give gimme give loot. Alright. Holy cow. I need to turn the music down some more. Okay. Man, that's getting so loud. Ah! There we go. That's not bad. Kick the computer. <laughs> Talk to the computer. Rapid sequence of tones. Oh, your data pad. Insert my data pad. Um... Talk to the computer. There we go. Yay! Oh no! Oh no! Life giving seed worlds. Oh, um, oceanic. Um, grassland? Arboreal? Okay. Broke the life seal. Whatever that means. Sounds good. Okay, now to the west. Uh, can I whirlwind you? Oh, it worked! Get, get done in, bro. Done in. What can I do? Oh, no. Got out of the whirlwind. Okay, we're doing better this time. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, let's go, baby. I got good force powers. This is kind of strange. I've never had my force powers be so effective. Aha. That was easier than I thought. All right, I'm going to I'm going to be a baby. I'm going to save here. Just in case. Whoa, what? Why is the music volume not going down? Alright. Well, I'll just ignore it. Talk to the computer. Insert my data pad. Talk to the computer again. Woo! Death giving worlds. Desert. Volcanic. Baron. Death seal. Let's go! Good thing it's just the opposite of what I answered in the other room. 
because uh, I mean, I remember as a kid having problems trying to get get that because I didn't know what those words meant when I was younger. Oh, I think I know what this is. Right. That was a really easy test if we're if we're gonna this, be real. This must be what Revan and Malik found when they entered this temple. This must be where their journey down the dark side began. What are you talking about? This is a, a map, some sort of intergalactic navigational chart. Revan I would Malik know that. What? To lead them to the Starforge. We could use this map to follow their path and find the Starforge ourselves, but we must be wary. They may have laid traps or concealed what they found. Okay. So what is the Star I Forge? Don't know, but Revan and Seems like interested I was kind of right about it being a factory of some sort. Or maybe a weapon. Perhaps the council can tell us more. Because it I can't be like the Halo rings, right? The Otherwise, Malik would be running around here. just like blowing this up planets. Like Corbin, a Sith world. And if that's Corbin, so I'm pretty this sure it's just like a. It's basically a factory out of. I think. Manan, there are pieces missing. Incomplete. Because obviously, in the name Starforge, it's a forge. And it doesn't. What do you do at a forge to make stuff? Where the Starforge itself might be. Okay, maybe the world has more clues. Too. Yeah. This map can't take us to the Starforge, but I know that Revan and Malik visited Corbin at least once. Perhaps they discovered something more there. They may have found something on each oh, of Oh, now I'm at the point where I get to decide Maybe my route the pieces, lead us of what places Forge. I go. In some way to destroy it. We must inform the council of what we've discovered. They must decide. I am pretty sure that I go Dantooine, not Dantooine, uh, Tatooine, then I go Kashyyyk, then I think I come back to Dantooine, and I think I do Korriban? And then... I, wait, is that it? Is that only four planets? Korriban and then Manan? Manan? However you pronounce it. I think that's the, the way I do it usually. Um, comment, it, comment the route that you usually take and, and maybe why. But I think I think that's what I do because Tatooine it progresses the story quite a lot. Um, Kashyyyk also progresses the story quite a lot, and there's some benefits to doing that. And then coming back to Dantooine, you can progress some more of the story. I'm being vague for anybody who hasn't played the game before. And then. I think I go to Korriban after because um, there's some parts of the story what where you yes. can't um, where you can't do anything unless you go to other planets first yes. or something. So yeah, I think that's what. I, and then Manan, there's an event there that I think you can do. After bringing somebody you find at Kashyyyk. So you can really do Manon wherever. But there's also a timeliness you need to do for some of these quests and events. So it'll, it'll be interesting to, to see if anybody has any suggestions for what I should do. Um, before I go report to the council, let me upgrade my lightsabers first. Okay, lightsaber, oh, okay, that's already got stuff in it, Rubot, yep, and Sigil, damage bonus 1d6, that's good. Oh, do I have enough, another yellow one? I do, I'll go with double yellow, because I am a sentinel. Ah, you have returned, young Padawan, have you discovered what it was that Revan and Malak sought in those ruins. I found an incomplete star map. This yep. news of a Starforge is disturbing. Action is required. 
but we must not do so. Yeah, Ace. action is required. We must discuss recent events in light of this new information. We should consult the Jedi archives to see if there's any mention of the Star Forge and what it might do. We must learn why Revan and Malak sought it out. Mm -hmm. Return to your ship with Bastila, and we will summon you when we are done. Um, Padawan, you have done well in discovering what? the star map hidden within the ancient ruins. But there is more you must do in the battle against Malak and the Sith. Okay. We Jedi, no victory over the Sith will not come through martial might. I mean, true, you're way outgunned. I've consulted our vast archives in an effort to discover the nature of this Star Forge. But all my efforts have been in vain. Still, the Council yeah. are in agreement. Probably because Revan and Malik, must be found. They, they probably erased Revan any mention of it. Because, I mean, wouldn't you, if you had an, like an a ace in your sleeve, you didn't want them finding out? The star map in the ruins showed you four planets. But yeah. It was incomplete. It did mm -hmm. not show the location yeah, of the star it? Um, Tatooine, Kashyyyk, Korriban, Manon. Similar star maps on other planets. Each star map mm -hmm. is likely a small piece of a larger puzzle. Find the star maps on Kashyyyk. Tatooine, Kash Kashyyyk? Korriban, is that how you pronounce that? Is Kashyyyk? The Jedi numbers have been ravaged by this war. What? Kashyyyk? I can't get over that. It's Kashyyyk, bro. But we realize the importance of this mission. Yet like, send a like, what's his name? Mundi from the movies. He goes, the what about the Wookiees on Kashyyyk or whatever, right? To failure. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Secrecy is our best defense against the Sith. But it would be foolish to send you on this quest without someone. You know, isn't it kind of strange? You're sending a Padawan on this important mission that really hasn't proven themselves. That might be the key. It's kind of weird. Mysteries uncovered by Revan and Juhani mm. has also asked to accompany you. Oh yeah, Juhani. I like her. She's a she's a good um. Juhani nearly fell to she's, the She's she's a good good companion. I think she's a guardian. A to you so I'll take her and Bastila probably most places, but I'll also switch out mission on certain planets and stuff. Of course, those who aided you on Taris will also come. They possess skills you may find useful in your quest. I'm sure you they will do. Not be able to yeah. hide the fact that you are a Jedi, nor should you. I mean, I'm pretty sure I could. Of your mission, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I Malik's could. Ears. You may return here at any time. Dantooine will be a sanctuary for you, a safe haven. Okay, yeah. I will not fail. You can leave whenever you wish. The sooner the better. <laughs> the sooner the better. Brooke walks the me out. Wait, the stronger Malik He's becomes. like an angry dad or First, something. Like, you're moving out of my house at 18. The lure of the dark side I don't know. is difficult to resist. Yeah. I fear this quest it's kind of funny. the Star Forge could lead you down an all too familiar path. What do you mean by the familiar the path? Galaxy is in your hands, young Padawan. We pray you are up to the challenge. May the force be with you. May the force be with you too, my man. Okay. Um. Did Juhani disappear? Yeah, she did. Haha, <laughs> Belayla, Belaya. I bet you regret yelling at me now. Okay. Um, I'm gonna save. And I think this is a good stopping point for today. So, uh, yeah, if you made it this far, leave a like. But otherwise, have a nice day.